Hello guys, in this video I will show you on how to add an icon to our Ionic project. So let's start. So we have here a blank project. So in here we'll be adding an icon. Okay, so let's go to our source code. Then in our project under the div id container, which is the body of our project, we'll be adding the icon component. Ion icon component. Icon slash ion dash icon. Okay. And then under source, we'll be adding the, let's say for example, the fingerprint. So at first, you will have an encounter if you use this one because this fingerprint is not defined on our project. So to use the fingerprint icon, we need to import the Ionicon in our project. And then from Ionicons slash icon. And then in here we'll be defining the fingerprint. Okay, and we also need to set up or to add the setup methods or function. Then return fingerprint. Okay, and then our fingerprint should be letter P. So let's check the output of our project. Then let's try to refresh. refresh. Okay, it's not here, so let's not forget to save our project. Control S. And then refresh. So we have here the fingerprint so our ionicons or the icon component of our project okay so we have a attribute which is or which can be used to define the size of the icon let's say we'll be using the large as the value of the size and then let's refresh. Okay, so you can see. Okay, the icon gets bigger. So we can also change the color. So color is equal to, let's say, primary. Control S. And then, so let's just wait if, okay. So it automatically refreshes, so the color of the fingerprint becomes blue. So that's the color of the primary. So next is we can also add an icon inside of our ion button. So for example, ion as button. So, for the source, we'll be binding the source attribute. And so, for the meantime, let's just set up as blank, example. And in here, we'll be defining the 
let's say for example the logo of the Facebook so let's type Facebook okay so logo Facebook okay and then always you need to put inside the setup okay this is how we're going to add uh, multiple icons on your project you need also you need to define first on our import and then okay add to our setup then use this value on our source property okay so by the way i i forgot it should be inside of a button so i ion icon then source base then slash ion plus icon okay so for example this is our button so control s then let's check our output so we have a button here which is the facebook logo so let's say we add a text we add facebook and just we need to add space between the icon and the Facebook text of our button. Okay, so we have this kind of output. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for watching. See you on our next videos. God bless.